uh, this is the introduction video for Solaris 10 and uh, I'm going to cover a few of the topics. So what would be the contents for this course? In the introduction, I will let you know a few of the things like uh, what would be the how this Unix has been developed. What is the hardware requirement? We are using uh, this is Spark and Intel based. Both the machines are being used for Unix nowadays. What is this kernel? What is shell? What, what is file system which we are using? What is this client and server model? So we will be discussing all the things. Basic commands which we are going to do some practical for them. So hardware requirement because earlier this uh, Unix was only Spark based. So it was not uh, running on Intel x86 machines but nowadays it is, it is running on x86 machine as well. Upon completion of this course, you will be able to understand how this boot and shutdown procedures are working for this Solaris machine, both the systems. What is this SMF? So this is a service management facility which has been introduced in Solaris 10. So it is being managed by SVC ADM. So we will do practical for that as well. What is the file system we are using? So Prior to this, like in Solaris 10, we were using this UFS file system. Now we are using uh, JITA file system as well. So it is much more advanced in terms of data handling. Installation, you will be able to install this Solaris 10 machine on this uh, VMware. User administration, you would be able to create the users and manage them well. Now you will be able to provide them sudo rights and uh, admin roles as well. So security administration, you would be able to provide the ACLs, what all securities can be handled to the system, who all would be able to execute uh, files. Manage security administration via providing ACLs, what all security permissions would required from a file or file system, you would be able to manage that easily. How you can manage your system and your uh, and the processes running on it? What all the backup and restoration things you can perform executing uh, this command line? Network basics you would be able to describe that what all network hardware you are utilizing, what all the IPs you have assigned. You can assign a new IP and you can change the IP. You can plumb the network card. You can unplumb the network card. So all the basic operations related to network you would be able to perform. Jita file system it is uh, one of the good uh, utility which I personally feel so by default in Solaris 11 it is the default file system but uh, prior to this like in Solaris 10, 8, 9 so we have liberty to use this UFS as well. If in terms of Unix uh, history so it has been developed in Bell laboratories in 1960s and the first version of Unix operating system has been written in 1969 by Ken Thompson and what is the difference between Solaris 9 and 10 so SMF which I told you service management facility zones we would be using and ZFS NFS version 4 we are, we are using in uh, Solaris 10 onwards. So multi terabyte file system is supported. Up to 16 TB you can uh, create file systems. Password authentication in Solaris 9 it was only 16 characters but now you have advanced security. So you can go up to 256 characters. In a Solaris 9 boot process is sequential because of this sequential process uh, it is a bit slow while booting but in Solaris 10 boot process is parallel so it is a faster it is it is bit fast in booting and live upgrade you have one of the facility which uh, is used for patching or creating the similar environment or similar OS which is running uh, right away so you will create a copy of your OS and then you can perform many operation. 
it could be uh, patching it could be any application testing it could be some bug fixes or whatever you need to operate you can create an another upgrade environment which can be used for testing purpose and later on it can be activated in Solus 11 we have good facility which has been introduced in uh, at the name of IPS so all the patch related operations you can create our repository so in this repository you would be having all the packages necessary packages it could be connected online to Oracle itself or you can create a local repository from where you can do this patch management you can install remove update uh, the patches JFS encryption is one of the good facility which has been introduced in Solaris 11 so few of the basic commands we will uh, do the practical for them so let me go to the putty session here I am logged into the Solaris 10 machine so how to check what OS it is running with so you could see this is the Sun OS Sun Solaris having 5.10 version so this we called Solaris 10 and uh, this is the Solaris 10 the name of this machine so with the help of hostname command you can easily come to know that what is the hostname however in production try not to use this command it is a uh, uname hyphen a which is going to solve all the purposes so if you need to know the release so 5.10 is the release if you need to know the name so you can use different different switches right after that if you need to know how now what is the memory or in my system so you could use prtconf memory is the command prtconf there are five and memory however uh, though so you could see 2048 mb is the memory for this system psr info is another command so it you can use with the hyphen V switch so it will show you virtual processors as well if you use without V so it will show you the uh, physical processors and it can be used with hyphen P as well so you could see like there is one processor only it is on the zero slot for network related stuff you can uh, use this if config hyphen A command so using if config hyphen command you would be able to see this what is the IP for this E1000 0 is the card which has been up now and it is running as well via this E1000 E1000 0 command on this IP 192.168.56 you are connected connected to this port itself so okay okay let me show you some SVC uh, service management facility so what all services are running on my system SVCS is the command so if you will use hyphen a switch it will show you everything so these are the legacy services which are still not been upgraded to SMF so in Solaris 8 9 10 whatever is the format for them so they are as it is in the Solaris 10 and 11 itself so they are still waiting for their upgrade into the SMF few of the disabled command you can also say so SVC ADM SVC ADM enable disable is the facility by which you can make them enable or disable SVCS hyphen A pipe grab hyphen I saw so you could see this is the this command is this service is online right away if you need to disable it you can also disable so you could see now it has been disabled if you need to enable this so you have to change this parameter so like this you can perform some basic operations if you need to know if my system is running on 64 bit or uh, 32 bit so you would be able to understand uh, executing this command isa info hyphen v so 64 bit your system is running so amd is the processor for this 
However, 32 bit is also supported for the application. So not a problem. You can execute, you can use either of them. For the logs, you need to execute SVCS hyphen L. So any of the, you can provide a service here or you can provide this fmri that is fault management resource identifier so both of the things will work for you so if i provide svcs hyphen l and fmri so there is one log file if you want to see what is happening with this process or service so you can execute this uh, more and this default dot log file so you would be able to get what all operations are happening in this service so that's all for the introduction so thanks for watching keep learning good day bye, -bye.